Most people in America have rights. The reality is that you have rights to do your life. When a person tells you to do your life, they are encouraging you to focus on your situation, focus on your home, and focus on your significant others in your life. The first party relations to you. A first party relation to you is considered your significant other, your spouse, your wife, your husband, your snuggle buddy, whatever the hell you call them. And in truth, any other person outside of that, such as parents, children, relatives, are third party relations to you. The only people that have any influence on you technically under the law is your first party relation. If you're not a first party relation, you don't have a right to someone's life. And when you start to pretend as if you do because you're a blood relative, you just put your life in great struggle and strife. When a person says, do your life, it doesn't mean they don't ever want to see you again, but it can mean that. It can absolutely mean that if there has been an actual conversation that qualifies boundaries in every way, an actual in-person, not knock-down, drag-out situation, just a very clear verification regularly across the year of, I am not interested in this relationship, you have betrayed me in every way, you have violated the law, and I do not wish you to stay in my stead. When a person tells you to do your life, it means totally focus on your life. And most adults spend their life predominantly in bed sleeping or predominantly at work with their colleagues. But here's the trouble. Colleagues can do things that are immoral and illegal. And if you do not know the difference between immoral and illegal, you could end up in a problem zone with not only your company that you work for, but the people who consume your products or services evermore. Any employee has the possibility of being sued today for their behavior on their technological or technical job. Meaning, what is your job description? Are you following your job description when you're performing duties on the payment that the company is providing you? Or are you abusing your responsibilities, abusing your opportunities in your job, and abusing your company employee network, or better yet, your company salary for you?